Good day, by the end of this lesson, you would have created a custom bottom sheet. During this you will learn how to apply a cover image to content, create grids and rows, create a footer using a div, etc. When you click the share button on the footer, a modal is activated via a trigger. There is styling that has been applied to the modal like blurring, transparency and other things, we will see how we did that soon. Let's activate a mobile view and see how this app will work on mobile devices. At the top of the screen we have added some padding, as some iPhones have hardware that might hide the app. We will show you how that padding was added. Let us go to our wireframing application and see how this application was mocked up. We did not follow the app wizard when creating the application, but started everything from scratch. So all the components we will add on the app must reside in the PG index code module. We check this in our project settings. We start by adding an ion content to the page. This will have an ion page class. We also set a cover image on this component. The custom view guide has all the instructions in terms of which components we have used and how we have applied the styling. Let's watch and see how this came about. Inside the ion content, we add a toolbar, then followed by ion buttons and then a button with an icon inside. The button does not have a caption and the icon is set to icon only slot. To apply the padding to the content, we used the style component, which is under topography. We specified the padding top value of 20 pixels.
We have also created a footer, however we are using a div with some style settings. Inside this footer, we have a grid, a single row, which has three columns, in each of the columns we add buttons and then we center the row. Each button has a clear fill, and an icon with icon only slot and we set the color to dark. The share button activates a bottom sheet modal. We created this modal and set it to have breakpoints and a CSS class, so that it's transparent and other things. The CSS class on the modal is added via the CSS rule component. This is found under the topography section of our components. Inside the modal we have an ion content. This has a grid, a row and a column. We can create multiple columns that can show multiple images and titles as demonstrated. All the steps about creating this application are detailed in the custom view guide and also in the accompanying source code. For the image we have set the radius to be 50% and the paragraph underneath it to have a white color. Let's now look at the source code to reproduce the application. All the source code for this app is in PG index as there are no additional pages to create and no tabs and no menu. The source code follows the same approach defined in the custom view guide.
Let's run the application and see how it works in our browser. To style a component, select and open it and then select the icon with stars. This will activate the styling component and show any existing styles already existing for that component. For the modal, we have a CSS class applied to it named Share Modal Class. To create it, we used the CSS Rule component. We named this CSS rule, modal CSS rule. We then indicated which selector it should be applied to, that a share modal class and then specified the styling to be applied. CSS rules are like injecting CSS to the application. Thank you.